is more of an informational endeavor to show the American people what went on. But if you can't have an end to that, then why why do this? Why hold these hearings in the first place? Well, Jim, that's a question of the year, it almost feels like, because here we are over a year out, and it feels as if this select committee, with all the pomp we saw tonight, and uh, and really all the, 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 that's going to come in the next coming days. I hope people tune in and, and really see with their own eyes and, and, look, and look to see more than anything else that this is an attempt from our from not just our leg executive branch, sorry, because this is this was an attack by the executive branch on the legislative branch. We heard that tonight very clearly, but this is an attempt by the legislative branch now to pull back the curtain and be more transparent than we've ever known in modern in the modern era. What? So one thing is very clear, and and this is touching on your question really mm -hmm. more than anything else, is that where is the teeth? If they can't hand out indictments and everything has to be referred to the Department of Justice, at what point do we start to see the consequences, the accountability meet this truth and fact-finding mission? That is the real question that will linger and will continue to even after the public hearings wrap up. Marina, I just have about 30 seconds here. Was there a moment tonight that stood out to you? Uh, I thought it was extraordinary to see the video of Ivanka Trump talking about telling her father that he, he did not win the election. What would it be for you? I have a, a whole list of memorable quotes here, but I can tell you this. It was in the opening statements and by ranking member of the committee, Liz Cheney, the congresswoman who is a Republican from Wyoming and the daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney. Her words were so jarring. She said, Donald Trump loosely uh, will no longer be here one day, but your dishonor will will last forever, essentially. So saying that to her Republican colleagues, I've got to pull that exact quote, but it was up. Oh, I have it right here. It was pretty to my close Republican to it, yeah. colleagues, <laughs> I say this, there will come a day that Donald Trump will be gone, but your dishonor will remain. And those words, like I said, they're not going to stick with me forever. I'm a politico, but I really hope they stick with my fellow citizens. And more so than anything else, Jim, people have got to watch this. So tell a friend, tell five friends must see TV. Well, we know it's a, it's a strange uh, a course for Liz Cheney, who about two years ago, many people were thinking she'd be the first female speaker uh, if and when the Republicans took over, but uh, times have changed. Rena Shah from the Renewed Democracy is an initiative. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you.